here we have solve graphically that means we have to find the value of x or y using or by drawing graph so we take the equation one then we separate x and y depend on your choice you can choose any one since y is alone i leave it here then the other two i can transfer it to the other side so this we can say as equation one so since i bring x this side i can choose any three value for x then i can calculate for y okay so you can choose any three value it's depend on you what kind of value you want to choose okay so we'll replace it here so that we'll get for y so minus one minus in place of x we need to put zero so three into zero will be zero then minus one then next the same way in the place of x we put with minus one so we have three since we have minus we put it inside bracket so sign you multiply with sign number with number so now you have one plus one minus so we can minus three minus one will be two then again in place of x you replace with one it depends on our choice three into one three both are minus what to do we plus but sign remain the same so we complete for the first one so let us take the second one also same we will try to separate x and y here you have y is minus so let us take this one the other side so 2x remains same plus 8 also remains same this is minus on transfer that side it will become plus we want only y so this 3 which is together with y we can divide the other side so clearly you see we bring x this side okay so we can choose any three value for x and calculate for y you can choose any value so we may choose zero we may choose two we may choose minus one it's up to you, you can choose any okay so then here we have in place of x we'll put with zero two into zero plus eight divided by three two zero are zero zero plus eight we have eight divided by three three into two near to six Two, we put decimals 3 into 6 will be 18 we should take only one number after decimal then next in place of x we can put with 2 so 2 into 2 will be 4 4 plus 8 will be 12 so 12 divided by 3 we get equal 4 then next one in place of x we put minus one so if you have minus one better put inside bracket so that there will be no confusion okay so two into minus one will be minus two plus eight one plus one minus so what to do we have to minus eight minus two will be six so six divided by two sorry by three we get we finish the calculation next we have to do the plotting so those okay you take this one as positive this one negative positive negative so we'll see with number one we have zero minus one x is zero exactly on the line x axis that mean oh sorry y axis y is minus one so mark it exactly at y equal to minus one then after that we have minus one two so x equal minus one y two two is positive so above so you can mark it there okay on this line of minus one you mark two so here you have minus one comma two then the third point we have one minus four so we go to one then minus four is down 
you mark those one two three four so here you have minus one comma sorry one comma minus four so now you join it using your ruler okay you see you get a straight line please join using ruler okay then you write it this is a key equation this is a graph for equation one then we'll take the second one we have zero two point six x is zero but y is two point six so two point six plus you take it up you go from two then you count six one one two three four five six so you mark it there it will be zero comma two point six then we have two four so then we have x is two y is four you can take it up there okay exactly on the line two comma four then we have minus one two x is minus one y is two okay so from there you can join using your ruler so after you join it more or less you will get it like this so because our aim is to get the point where they intersect so the point where those two graph both graph of one and two intersect is this one so which mean x is minus one y is two so here you can write and mean from the graph okay x equal minus one y equal to two so you can check it here correct or not three into minus one will be minus three then plus two so minus three plus two will be minus one minus one plus one will be zero if it is here also is correct so that mean the answer here is the final answer is this one